Hello everyone, Steve here for Who Took My Dice Miniature Wargaming, and welcome to part two of my look at Primaris Marines. So in the last video, which I have to say thank you to everyone about, uh, it has it was a video that has had the most views I've ever had, uh, ever, on this channel. Uh, I just checked, it's up to 266 views. I know there's people get millions and millions and millions, that's great. I've never had this many views, so I want to thank everybody. All the people uh, who subscribed, everybody else who watched, thank you so much. It means the world to me. I can't, I can't thank you guys enough. It was fantastic to see that. I was shocked, absolutely shocked. I didn't expect that at all. Um, so thank you very much. But I digress. On to Primaris Marines. So the last one, I looked at the FAQ that Games Workshop put out to kind of explain where they fit. Um, they're not a replacement for Marines. Um, any Imperial Force can have them. Uh, they also put out some stuff though, uh, just after I put on my video, uh, they gave a rundown, a rundown, rundown, a rundown of their stat lines, and I printed it. So we're going to look through that today. So the first squad we've seen and, and been told about is the Inter Intercessor Squad. Okay, so this is basically, um, this would be your, your basic um, Primaris Marine squad, right? So I have it right here, we'll look at this. Let me move over a bit here. All right, so their troop choice, as you can see, uh, their power six. So I uh, go back to the other video, talked about tactical marines being power five, uh, and that's sort of the balance it out if you're doing sort of a, a narrative play and you want a quick way to kind of even things out. Uh, you notice the standard, you have the intercessor, your intercessor sergeant. You notice they're pretty much right along the line. I'll get that closer here, sorry, if you can't see. Um, they are the basic stats of a space marine. Um, which at first is kind of like, wow, well, they're supposed to be bigger, they're supposed to be better. And they are. We'll get to that. Uh, the ma first major difference is they have two wounds, which instantly shows that they are tougher. They're more durable. They will not go down as fast uh, as, a, say, a regular Marine well to small arms fire. Uh, they have a 3 plus armor save. Uh, they, again, they are in power armor, uh, which means, yeah, they're not as durable as, say, a Terminator who has two wounds and a 2 plus armor save. And most likely invulnerable save, even though we haven't seen that yet. Who knows? Um, the other thing is they have two attacks. So right off the bat, you can kind of see where they fall in. These guys are better Marines. They're more durable. They have more attacks. Now, if we get down to uh, here, it says the unit contains one intercessor sergeant and four intercessors. Each uh, model is armed with a bolt rifle, a bolt pistol, frag grenades, and crack grenades. All right. So again, they're armed with the standard space marine armament. Now, the big difference there is the bolt rifle. So, uh, fluff-wise, this is a, a variant of the bolter that uh, that Call has been working on, uh, apparently for 10,000 years, and he's perfected it. This is, I guess, the ultimate version of the bolter, a bolt rifle. It is range 30, so already there, it can outshoot pretty much any standard um, troop choice infantry in the game. Um, now I'm not going to count Devastator squads or guys that are specialized in heavy weapons and all that. Those are obviously a separate entity, but they are primarily able to outshoot everything now. They're able to cause damage sooner, and because it's strength 4 and it's AP minus 1, they can actually cause more damage as well, which is fantastic. Uh, the only thing I think they can't outshoot is Tau, and I think they're tied with that. Now, again, we haven't seen them, but if you go by the general makeup of, of the Tau with their, uh, their, their, Pulse Rifles being uh, range 30, it's a draw now. But the fact is, these guys can take on and wound stuff far sooner than a Space Marine can. I'm talking your basic Space Marine. Of course, you know, heavy bolters, all heavy weapons, farther range, but that's, that's you know, Devastator squads and other things. Uh, the other cool thing is actually you see Frag and Crack Grenades now. They have a 6-inch range. Uh, what's really cool is your Frag Grenade is Strength 3. It's Grenade D6. Now, I'm not sure how grenades are going to work. If one person throws them, they all get to throw them. These are awesome ways to devastate really, like, you know, weaker units. Guardsmen, Gaunts. You have three of these out. I mean, D grenade D6. Obviously, no more blast templates. But that's pretty awesome. Strength 3, damage 1. You're wounding most weak stuff on a 4. You're going to be killing a lot of stuff with these things. And, of course, your crack grenade. Right? Which does D3 damage. It's minus 1 AP. Strength 6, pretty powerful stuff, right? 
You notice that they don't have any other tactical choices on here. There's literally nothing else. That is it. Now, is this because they haven't want, they didn't want to put out the full data sheet yet? Who knows? But from what I understand, this is it for the squad, which is really cool. I'll get to why in a second. It's sort of a throwback, which is really, really cool. The other thing, and the one I was really hoping for, abilities. And they shall know no fear. It is there. It's here. Ooh, my voice is all that I can. But how it works within the confines of the new morale setting, I have no idea yet. But it's cool that it's still there. Now, if you get to faction keywords, you have Imperium, Adeptus Astartes, and Chapter in the little parentheses there. This is because they can belong to any chapter. So if you put these guys in Ultramarines army and a special rule that says, you know, keyword Ultramarines, they can use it. Space Souls, Blood Angels, Dark Angels, Iron Hands, Imperial Fists, Raven Guards, Salamanders, wherever you want. These kind of new, even if you make up your own chapter, all right? And then keywords, um, you have Infantry, Primaris, Intercessor Squad. So obviously that will play in something important role when in their own army. Um, when something, a special rule, something says, you know, all intercessor squads can do this or get this bonus, right? Um, if you look at some of the pictures they put out, you can tell there's a character in there. So what he does, I don't know. All we've seen really is this one character and intercessor squads. There's also been some other images leaked of Primaris Marines with what looks like to be plasma guns, but probably plasma rifles. Um, this is all leading somewhere, right? The character is a bit different. He seems to be on a bigger base. He has a power weapon. Looks like a pistol of some sort. So we'll get to that in a sec. Where, where this is all going and why I think they're going to set it up this way. But yeah, so that is your intercessor squad. So that's the first one we've seen. Now they have said there will be others. What they are, we don't have names for. But this is what I want to get into. This is a really cool, why it's a throwback. Is I have a feeling these squads are going to be set up more like uh, the old Legion squads instead of the current squads right now now these guys they don't have the armor durability of a terminator they don't have the tactical flexibility of a tactical squad so where do they fit in they're kind of like the old legion tactics tactical squads they're there to put out firepower um they're good at the obviously with their their uh, bolter rifle their range is better it does more damage they have more attacks they can take more wounds so these guys are a squad of heavy hitters they're going to go in and they're going to do what a mainline infantry guy is supposed to do. They're going to hit, they're going to hit hard, and they're going to they're going to also soak up damage that will be taken away from your tactical squads. These other squads, I have a feeling, especially from the, the one of the photos, is I think this green one's going to be dedicated to special weapons, much like the old uh, uh, Legion uh, tactical support squads. So when you had a Legion, now if you guys aren't familiar with how the Legions work, your tactical squads were big. They could be from anywhere from 5 to 20 guys. I think actually, sorry, 10 to 20 guys. And that was it. The only guy with any sort of extra weaponry was your sergeant. Everybody else was just armed with uh, with bolters, bolt pistols, and, you know, chain axes, if that the Legion called for it, right? Um, the next thing was a tactical support squad, which is about 10 guys. Uh, they had, I think it was either 5 to 10 Marines, and these guys all had the same special weapons. You have flamer, plasma gun, anything like that. And it was a support squad, right? It was there to, to pump out a certain type of a weapon. Uh, your Devastator squads were the same. So I have a feeling these other squads we have yet to see, one may be that. I think one will probably uh, be geared towards heavy weapons, especially if they're having their own army. Um, in the fluff, they say gelleman has gone out with a full chapter of these guys with him to start trying to save the Imperium that's been ripped in half by this giant um, warp storm scar that's gone right across the sky. Um, or space, I should say. Uh, and another one might be uh, more geared towards close combat. Makes sense to me, right? Uh, along with all these other new vehicles, uh, there's been rumor of a dreadnought for these guys. So who knows? I don't know. Um, but yeah. That is the basic of your intercessor squad. So that's the very first squad we've learned anything about. In my opinion, very, very cool. Uh, at first when I saw this, I was a little thrown off. I'm like, well, they're supposed to be better. They're supposed to be bigger. What's going on here? Like physically, they're bigger. Um, but yeah, the stats, uh, the more I look at makes sense. They are more durable. They have two wounds, right? So it's going to be harder for them to go down. They have two attacks, so they can hit more. They have a better uh, basic small arms right your bolter rifle 
It shoots farther than a bolter. It does more. It it can it can uh, cause more wounds than a bolter. You know, it, it is. They are what they're supposed to be, and I think they're gonna be great for any Imperial army that uses them. Uh, if you play Astra Militarum or what have you, uh, even any sort of Adeptus Mechanicus army, these guys are gonna be a cool way to boost. Uh, put some strength into your army. Maybe fill in holes, right? Well, yeah, so that's where I'm gonna end this, guys. Um, obviously, I'm gonna put up more videos. I have another one coming up today. Um, I'll get to that soon, but as always guys, thank you very much. 266 views on the other, the, the first Primaris Marine, um, video is huge. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, I had nothing but awesome comments. I had one, one, one uh, gentleman, uh, said it's the best he'd seen on YouTube, uh, talking about Primaris Marine. So that means the world to me. That means I'm doing something right. Um, I hope this has helped guys. Hope this is uh, ease some minds, maybe. I think these models are going to be fantastic. They are not a replacement for Space Marines. The standard Tactical Squad is still there. I'm, I love Tactical Squads. I've used them forever. They are fantastic. They're always going to be my mainstay. These guys are going to be cool. You are going to see a ton of armies. They're a the brand new thing. You're going to see new models. Obviously, they're going to be rampant everywhere. People are going to love them. Some people are absolutely going to hate them because, oh, great, Marines got something new. It's all part of the process. Uh, I've already seen some pictures now of the new Death Guard uh, models, and they look fantastic. So, yeah, there's lots of cool stuff coming still, guys. So be patient. Eighth, I think, is going to be fantastic. Uh, and, again, thank you to everybody for the last video. I hope this one is just as much fun for you. So please, as usual, guys, hit the like button if you liked it. Share it with your friends. And please subscribe because I love to see uh, more faces pop up. I love, it makes me know that I'm reaching out and touching people. Not that way. And uh, as always, guys, until next time, keep rolling those dice. We'll see you later.